new documentary called, Ra called Ray's Hill, The Life and Times of Molly Ivins examines the life of former Austin resident and political columnist Molly Ivins. It highlights her work as a civil libertarian in a conservative state, which some say made her a legendary journalist. Here to talk about the documentary is director Janice Engel. Good morning to you. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what really inspired this documentary. Well, Molly, Molly Ivins, I mean, she speaks truth to power. She gives voice to those that don't have one, and she stands up for the underdog, but she uses humor to deliver her message. Um, when I had gotten into this, I didn't really know who she was. I grew up in New York and L.A., and I was not part of her constituency. So I went to see the play Red Hot Patriot, the kick-ass widow of Molly Ivins back in 2012. My friend James Egan wanted to make a film with me. He said, go see it. It's closing. I said, why? He said, don't ask. Go. So I went. I was blown away. I laughed through the entire thing, came up, Googled her, and we were off and running. Yeah. You know, what do you feel like, I mean, I know you talked a little bit about what makes her her, but what makes her so relatable, you think, to people as, as a standout? Well, Molly, everything that she wrote said, I'm going to say 15, 20, 30 years ago, go is happening right now. Mm -hmm. Her overriding message is it's up to us to do the heavy lifting. It was really about us taking a part in our civics and our, our responsibility as, you know, people in this great country. It's, we are a great country. We're still great. We've always been great. Right, but it, but, and, and that's one of the things we always talk about. It's always up to people. They have to exercise their ability to, to vote and have a say in politics, right? Without question. But she used humor because she knew that with humor, you know, you've got to stop and think about it. Humor makes us stop. It makes us actually think about what's being said. We laugh, endorphins get released, we really feel good, and then we can all sit down and have a conversation. So it will bring us back to the table. She's very, very relevant to what's going on right now. Okay, you know, for folks who want to see the documentary, tell us about where they can check it out. They can definitely check it out starting Friday. It opens Texas-wide and then nationwide. It kicks off here uh, at the Alamo Draft House. I think there's several in the city, but it's South Lamar. I will be there Friday night doing Q&A. And uh, it also happens to be Molly Ivan's 75th birthday. Wow. So you tell me who's driving this bus. <laughs> that is awesome. And you know, we want to mention uh, she has passed away, correct? Yes, she passed yes. away in 2007. Due to cancer. Yeah. But it was, and so that just even more makes it more relevant to, to tell her story, right? Oh, yeah, without question. Without question. She has, she, that as well as just her voice, so much of what she said and what she wrote. She was very prescient. And because she was very, very smart, she was a student of history, and she knew that cycles repeat themselves. Mm -hmm. We're in a time where those cycles are getting smaller and smaller and happening faster and faster. So it's, 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 it's I like to say, how many documentaries make you laugh? Not, not a lot. This one will make you <laughs> laugh, it'll make you cry, and it'll also uh, inspire you to take civic responsibility, vote. Yes, well, we, you know we love that. So, Ms. Janice, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Yeah, if you guys missed any of this interview, we're going to upload it onto KB.com after the newscast. We'll also have all of the information about the documentary on our website as well. We'll be right back. Raise hell, y'all.